Unpacking date night is what we used to call every night the first month we lived together. This is the perfect game to play if you're looking for a chill evening of decluttering but are unwilling to actually clean up around the house. Sometimes date night just ends up being digital versions of all the chores we should be doing in real life. Even though it's meant to be an escape, we just do the same stuff we were trying to avoid in the first place. The worst part is the apartment still doesn't get cleaned. At least we can go to sleep knowing that we have what it takes to virtually move into a new place. Our procrastination habits aside, there's always plenty to unpack on date night. I should probably start by saying that between the two of us, my boyfriend's the neat one. It's funny because I always thought I was neat until I moved in with him. Either way, if you play this with someone else, it's 10 times funnier letting the messier of the two of you play. Here, so can my uh, little book. <laughs> you can just stack everything <laughs> on the surfaces instead of putting them in drawers. <laughs> sense that I'm the one in control most of the time, because like moving in real life, he gets stuck carrying all the boxes into the house. Why, 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 why do we move it in the bedroom then? Why is it in the bedroom? I don't know why we moved it in the bedroom. You I told us to move it in the no, bedroom. No, I did not. But this game succeeded in highlighting all the things we disagree on at home. We're both oddly fascinated by watching the other one unpack. And even though there are some moments we have to grit our teeth through, I'd argue it's even better than actually playing at times. Oh, well, I have so many... Okay. <laughs> you sound like totally like you're like apartment shopping. You're like, look how much space we have in here. Uh huh. I never could have predicted how specific my boyfriend was with where things go till I was the one unpacking. The game may seem harmless, but depending on your chemistry, this is more of a litmus test than a game when you're playing with the person you live with. Sometimes it felt like I was nervously trying to decide whether to cut the red wire or the blue wire with him watching. Although there were plenty of times I got to call him out for being a complete psychopath where he put things too. Oh, okay, let's hear it. This has got to be my fault somehow. This game puts me and my boyfriends in packing at odds with each other. It's obvious right away that we have pretty different styles. I definitely think that little scissors are so cute. Problem is you probably should like stop taking things out of the <laughs> box and figure out where the things that are already out should go. Okay, 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 fine. He's very much a man of order and likes to pull things out one at a time and find them each a home before moving on to the next thing. On the other hand, I'm so excited to see what's hiding in each of the boxes. I'll just keep pulling stuff out and setting it on the bed until I have to start making room on the floor so I can continue to be disorganized. <laughs> this is so like... Oh my it's god! Totally not how I would do this, where you just like unload the entire box and get excited about like each thing, but you don't put it away as you unpack it. It's always a little overwhelming when we first start a level because there's so many boxes to tackle, but we divide things up room by room and box by box and just start chugging away at it. After a while, we start recognizing some of the things and even look forward to finding which box they're in. If only unpacking in real life were like this. My pig! My pig! My boyfriend finds it hilarious whenever I neatly arrange all my shirts and get them fit together, perfectly organized by size and color, before reaching into the box and pulling one out that completely throws off my entire system of organization. Oh my goodness. But I want to display my kitty shirt. Shit. Whoever's packing these boxes could use some serious pointers. For instance, if you have a boot, there's absolutely no reason you should box each foot separately. Why okay. would you box Why, one yeah, boot, right? I'm so mad about you that. You lost one of your boots, like one of your boxes. You just have one boot. Yeah. As someone who has made a name for herself in our household for being able to efficiently fill boxes, this low level play doesn't meet the standards of any self respecting boxer. My other shoe! Also, if I pull out one more goddamn shirt in the kitchen boxes, I'm literally gonna lose my mind. I have more shirts? Are you fucking kidding me? Rome wasn't built in a day, and if there's one thing this game gets wrong, it's the idea that you could unpack all this stuff in a single day. I'm not saying they should have included a level where you're sitting on the floor eating pizza on a paper plate because you can't remember which box has your utensils in it, but it's safe to say this game makes unpacking a lot more stress-free than the real thing. Ah! Oh my god, I wish I could get rid of boxes that easily. Like, they just disappeared when you're done with them. Whenever we play, I can't help but relive the nightmares of moving in together. Like, when we first decided to live together, we didn't really account for the fact that we'd be sharing all of our stuff. What I mean by that is, we basically moved my apartment's worth of stuff into his apartment's worth of stuff and ended up having doubles of everything. Two blenders, two toasters, two sets of silverware, two vacuum cleaners. It was like the Noah's Ark of living arrangements. Hey! 
Yeah? What the hell is this? Every time we play the boyfriend level, I die a little on the inside because it takes me back to those darker days. And I have to live with a boy! This place is not pad friendly. One of the hardest parts of living together is learning how to share space. We both had to compromise quite a bit to make everything fit together. To this day, I'm still not sure if he's gotten over the loss of like 70% of his closet space. Which is to say, I think me removing all the boyfriend stuff from hangers so that I can hang my own instead hit him a little too close to home. His like workout hoodie can just get folded up. Like seriously, come on. Oh my god, this is giving me PTSD. There you go. My blouse needs to hang. It's not my fault that like he didn't give me any room. It's always a dramatic moment when we fold up the last box and see how we did. All I ever want is to see that beautiful golden star, but alas, I always get treated to a million angry things flashing red. What's so bad about wanting to sleep with a bunch of stuffed horses? In fact, one of the age old arguments we get into is how many pillows are too many to have on the bed. It's a constant battle between me wanting as many as possible and him only wanting two. Always two there are. No more, no less. In recent years, we've compromised to four, but when he sat through me putting every stuffed animal in the game on the bed, I could see the visual pain in his eyes. There's no room to sleep in that bed. Was there ever? All in all, the game can be quite therapeutic. For the most part, there aren't too many wrong places for things to go, and it's a pretty stress-free experience. I think the biggest source of anxiety for my boyfriend is how sentimental this game makes you feel about your stuff. My mug! Aww. I can never get rid of anything ever, and this game doubles down on that feeling. This is exactly why I put my wooden picks in item frames. Needless to say, unpacking isn't helping with my sentimentality. My bus! I don't have to cry. The bus. Even though it's a rather short game, it gives us the nostalgia and fuzzy feelings we're looking for sometimes. I used to like to play my Game Boy in bed. Oh, it doesn't like that. See, I would have liked to play it in bed too. We moved in together almost three years ago, but I'm still finding things I forgot to unpack. Obviously, this game doesn't get me any closer to toppling the Clutter Mountain, but it makes me feel like it does. I'll admit that he's got me beat when it comes to unpacking, but if they ever release a sequel about putting things in the boxes in satisfying ways, I'll be packing heat. Hopefully, he'll still help me carry them, though. Ow!